Bill, let's talk to you first. Up there on Merseyside, you're a well-known local MP. You talk to many constituents. To what extent is the fuel crisis now uppermost in their minds and what can they do about it? Well, uh, thanks very much, Liam. I think the practical advice you gave just now is, was, was really sensible. I'm interested to hear what your other guests have to say about it. But you, you're quite right. The, the, the government and Rishi Sunak are putting forward a, a loan to the energy companies. It's got to be repaid by consumers. That's not even going to be available to businesses. And that's why Labour's got an, an alternative. We think it, it should be a VAT cut. VAT cut would cut £200 off energy bills, but wouldn't have to be repaid. So that's different for a start. It would help businesses as well. That's massively different for a start. We also think that you should extend the warm homes discount to 9.3 million uh, households, which is significantly greater, and we're, we're suggesting £400 there. Uh, and a £600 million fund for the energy intensive industries, which are going to be really, really badly hit in manufacturing, steel, ceramics, glass, paper, cement are just five off the top of my head. And we, we think that that's what's really needed because, as you said, £700 extra on household bills, a fourfold increase in industrial energy prices. This is a, a cost of living crisis and a real crisis for, for costs in, in business and it needs serious action and that's what we're putting forward. Adam Scorer of the National Energy Action Charity uh, Bill has there just given us an answer across the piece, both households and firms, and of course he's right to do so. Both are hugely important to his constituents up there on Merseyside. You deal more with households, particularly lower income households. What can they do? What, we must be careful about giving financial advice, of course, on the television. But what's your general advice to people who ring you, often I would suggest, in dire straits? Yeah, absolutely. And in huge distress, there's not much I can tell them. Uh, there's very little they can do as an active player in the energy market, switching to cheaper deals. We would say, as your advice said, certainly get in touch with your supplier. If you think you're going to struggle to pay, do get in touch. The earlier you do that, the better. There's a certain number of things they can do to help you. But let's be frank, the only opportunity that we had to mitigate, take the sting out, the pain of these energy price rises was for government. And their response was woefully inadequate. They decided to go uh, broad and shallow, and they should have gone deep and targeted, and they will have to come back to that. They had an exam question. The exam question was, how do you stop energy price rises devastating the incomes of those on the, on the, uh, the poorest households? And they decided not to answer that question. They didn't even turn the question paper over. So the consequence is we have inadequate support to the poorest households. They will feel that in April. They will feel that financially, but also in their health and their well-being and their emotional lives. And government will have to come back to it because what it's done so far is just woefully inadequate.